What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. This is video two of like three videos of my HD truck comparison. These two trucks here behind me, if you missed last week, we compared my 2500 versus 3500. I will link it right here and also in the description below. And then next week, we're actually gonna be putting a suspension to the test on both of these trucks and loading some weight in them to see how the suspension holds up, 25 versus 3500. So that's all gonna be next week. But today we're talking about trims and trim levels. So in general, trim levels on the Ram 2500 truck you got Tradesman, which is right here behind me. You got Bighorn, which is also right here behind me. Goes up to a power wagon, but it's, it's not offered in diesel, so we're not counting that. And then I do believe it's like the, the top of the line ones. You got like Laramie Limited, and then like Laramie, I, I, there's like another one that's like mixed, like Limited Longhorn or something like that. Either way, that's not either of these two trucks. I don't have that kind of money. So we're gonna be talking about these two right here behind me, Tradesman versus Bighorn. So it's gonna be kind of hairy just because there are so many iterations of these trucks, it's unreal. So for the most part, I'm gonna to try to stick to talking about this Tradesman here versus this Bighorn. Not every single iteration completely total because like, most dealerships order big horns exactly how I have mine. Most dealerships order tradesmen's exactly how this one is here. I'm gonna to touch on some of that stuff here, so let's go. All right, so like I said, we're gonna cover exterior first, tradesman versus big horn. I'm gonna start over here. So this is pretty much a base tradesman. Now, if you buy the base base tradesman, it typically comes with like black bumpers and everything else black. This thing actually does have the chrome, which is kind of nice. We'll start off with the very, very front. So this is pretty much your fifth gen front end. It's kind of nice because tradesmen's nowadays, they do have spots for fog lights. And so a lot of guys will buy tradesmen's and then they'll upgrade them to something so they'll put fog lights in whereas like the old school so like the fourth gens and everything below so 2018 and lower if you bought a tradesman you did not have a spot for fog lights so if you wanted to add them you had to cut out the bumpers whereas it's kind of nice the fifth gen tradesmen's come with spots for fog so front end's pretty much the same like this one's chrome you can't get anything better in chrome in a tradesman but standard they are black you get cab lights now cab lights aren't standard i found out so this one actually does have cab lights you got the moose mirrors are up of course you can't get anything better than like an 18 inch steel wheel for a tradesman so this is pretty much your base setup you buy a tradesman truck this is the wheel you're gonna get so running boards is another thing now check out the running board difference which is kind of cool so I didn't know this when I ordered my truck, but this is what you get on a Trademan running board. It is a little dirty, and that's what you get on a Bighorn running board, which is, it's pretty different. And I actually do like these a lot better, but we'll get to that here in a second. So everything else is pretty much standard on the truck. You get RAM on the door. You do not get a pillar wrap. Ironically, Tradesmen's are the only Rams that do not get a pillar wrap. Where any other trim level, you do get a pillar wrap. Obviously, we took it off because it looks way better with it off. So this is kind of like Tradesman-esque, but, um, Everything that is not a tradesman comes with a pillar wrap. So you don't get it here. We'll go on the inside here in a little bit. But you get black door handles, and that is standard for a tradesman, whereas big horns and everything else, you do get body color door handles. So fuel tank, bed, this stuff's all the same. You don't typically get like the LED lights and everything until you upgrade like to like the cargo bed package or the, the towing package. So this tradesman is actually kind of cool where it has LED tail lights and third brake light. And then once again, we're in the back where it just has a chrome bumper where if you got the base base tradesman, it would be black. So moving on to my Bighorn. Now this is pretty standard how dealerships are ordering Bighorns nowadays. It's not 100% a standard Bighorn though. So I found out with some research, a standard standard Bighorn also doesn't have fog lights. It also comes with steel wheels and stuff, but like I've never seen a Bighorn without fogs and without like aluminum wheels. So I'm pretty sure every dealership at least orders them up to this spec. The difference is this has the sport appearance package, which gives it the full color match. The standard Bighorn will come, just like the Tradesman does, with chrome bumpers and whatnot. So this thing actually does have the sport color match package, if you will. Now this does not have like the LED front package, like with the LED fog lights and stuff. I did do that myself. Same thing here, uh, you do get mirror lights, you do get cab lights. Well, it's once again, not standard, but it's added onto this. Most dealerships order it with. And these are like the big horn aluminum wheels that come standard on 
most bighorns. And like I know, obviously you can get like a blackout package bighorn and stuff like that, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this one right here in front of us. So you do get some aluminum wheels on 18s. Like we said before, you do get the nicer running board from the factory, obviously an add-on, and you do get color matched door handles, which is a nice touch. Now you normally do get a pillar wrap like we said, but we took the pillar wrap off because it is ugly. Moving on to the back, same type thing. We upgraded to the cargo package, so we do have LED tail lights from the factory. You do get like a color match tailgate handle, color match bumper because this is that. And uh, we go from there. Now, I also took my ram off the doors and typically there's a sticker right here on a, like a big horn or anything else. And then it said like big horn and something else there, I forget. Whereas tradesmen, you never see anything on the bed. You don't have anything right there where mine said big horn and it says four wheel drive there. So also tradesmen do not have tailgate assist. That thing will drop and like cut your hand off if I didn't do that. Whereas the big horns and everything else above a tradesman, that does have like a tailgate assist. Um, same thing in both trucks. We did a fifth wheel gooseneck prep package. I do not have a bed liner where that truck does right now. So this is where it's getting kind of hairy where you could pretty much order a, a tradesman almost as spec out as my big horn just with a couple of different features. And also you get lights back here on this truck, all the lights light up and you do get a power package. Like that's obviously for trailers. No, so I got no lights. I got no lights back here and I don't have the plug right there as well. So that's different. And then another thing I just thought about, tradesmen, you do not get a rear slider. That's the only glass you could get where once you bump up to like a big horn and anything else, you could get a rear slider. So we do have the slider on this guy. All right, so that's not a whole, whole lot. The biggest thing I think is honestly like color match and aluminum wheels versus like chrome or black and not aluminum wheels, fog lights, no fog lights. Trucks don't look a hell of a lot too different to be honest with you. You get a couple minor things that set these things apart and that's about it. So let's dig into the inside. All right, digging into the interior of a tradesman. This is pretty much what you're gonna get with a, there's a couple of different features. Like we ordered these 3,500 tradesmen with leather. Typically you don't get leather. We did order them with the 8.4 inch screen. Typically you don't get that. And there's a couple other things like this does have the tow package. I'll show you in a minute. This has way better cameras than my Bighorn does. This is what I'm saying. Sometimes you can order and make like a tradesman pretty damn close to what you get from a bighorn so we'll go over that here in a second too but in general and this is all 2021 is enough you do get like a black headliner now versus like the tan one that ram used to have on everything so you get the bucket seats tradesmen you cannot get like a bench seat so you're going to get a bucket seat no matter what in these trucks you are going to get the rubber floor i think you might be able to upgrade but rubber floors are pretty nice for work trucks to be honest with you you don't get like the fancy sound system or anything that like my bighorn does we'll go over that here in a minute you do get steering wheel controls now in tradesmen, which is nice, but you do not get the controls on the back for like the radio like my truck will have. So you get the standard, uh, this is pretty standard over on this side for the lights and everything. This is the standard tradesman dash. You cannot get a better dash than what you get right here. Like I said, this screen was upgraded. Most tradesmen do not come with this fancy, uh, with the fancy screen. <clears throat> this is kind of how all the auxiliaries are in tradesmen's trailer height because this has air, exhaust brake, tow haul, and they're just kind of like little buttons. This is upgraded where a standard tradesman has the floor shifter for the four wheel drive. This is push button now, so that's kind of upgraded. And 2021, every tradesman still comes with push button start, which is nice. The big difference is you still get a nice key fob, but tradesmen, you do not have a remote start where big horns and everything else, you do get a remote start. So that's kind of big too. You do not get a remote start for this. It's still keyless though, which is kind of nice. So like I said, you get the big screen, which is super cool. Um, also, what's really cool, close this. My big horn does not have this. I obviously can adjust the top mirror with my big horn with my buttons, but this has like the special towing package which comes with that button right there. This button right there allows you to adjust the blind spot mirror push button. I cannot do that in my big horn, which is kind of insane. So if you go to the cameras, this thing has the surround cameras. Look how cool that is. This is a tradesman now, mind you. I do not have the front camera. I do not have the mirror cameras. I, I do have the cargo camera. I 100% have this, but I do not have this. And then additionally, like 
all this stuff up here. Tradesmen's, you cannot get dual climate, you cannot get heated seats, heated steering wheel, none of that stuff. So this is pretty standard with the exception of the screen. Over on this side, tradesman wise, you get the big glove box here. This is open here, whereas Bighorn and everything else that's closed, and I'll show you that here in a minute as well. So I know I'm jumping around, but put the truck in reverse, you get this top view, which is super cool for backing up. I don't have that in my Bighorn, you get that here in this Tradesman. So another thing, you always get the standard mirror, it's a standard flip mirror. So I finally got a truck that has like the auto adjust mirror, Tradesmans do not get that. You still do get Bluetooth and everything in Tradesmans, which is nice, so Bluetooth is nice. Going to the back seat, that's your standard back seat, a little dirty, don't mind that. I don't think you get the... Yeah, so you do not get the cool coolers on the floor on the Tradesman, and none of this stuff pulls down. Like, I'll show you in my truck, it does pull down. The seats do obviously go up, though, and you do have those little storage compartments, which is super cool. Moving on to the inside of my big horn. It looks a lot different, doesn't it? Standard big horn still honestly comes with the bucket seats just like the Tradesman does, but most dealerships, and what I did, I ordered the full like center console type deal. I like that. I like the bucket seats. I like the full, full center console. Does very well with storage. Look at all the space I got there. Like I said, I don't have that fancy button for my, for my blind spot mirrors, but I do have the standard ones. Everything here looks the same except for like, you get a little nicer handle here. You get some storage here you get some storage down there and this is a little bit more plush uh, so like it just looks more fancy if you will going on the inside I have carpet carpet's pretty standard big horns once you go with like the big horn level 2 package or something you do get the power seats this is cloth cloth is standard on most of these trucks especially the tradesman but like I said those ones are ordered a little bit differently steering wheel wise pretty much the same steering wheel biggest difference is we got the controls on the back to control the radio and then also we do get the option to adjust the pedals back and forth which you don't get on a tradesman Climbing on the inside, same thing with the four wheel drive shifter right there. Same thing with all this stuff like there. Like I said, I got a whole new dash though. This is the nice dash for the big horns and everything. Going up this way, you get the garage door openers. Same thing right here where you get the Bluetooth. These LED lights don't come factory. I upgraded the LED lights. This is the auto mirror, so like the auto dimming mirror, which you don't get on the Tradesman's. And you'll see the same exact screen. I got the same screen, the same setup. Differences, look at all these buttons. So like I do get dual climate, I do get heated seats, I do get heated steering wheel, but it is the same screen and here's all my auxiliary ports. So these are push button whereas on the Tradesman's they're like little levers. So these are all push buttons, I ordered it like that with the additionals. And like I said over here, you do get the same glove box but this upper one opens up also. So that's pretty much your big differences to be honest. So if I start this truck up... You'll see I do have a little bit nicer of a display. This is like a standard Bighorn display. I got the nice screen and like my camera options, I got like a backup camera and I have a cargo camera. That is like legit all I have. I don't have all those fancy ones that the Tradesman actually does have. Big thing I do have and it's not standard, I got the Alpine nine speaker system. So I got nine speakers, one there, two in the door. I even got speakers in the ceiling, which is kind of cool. And then there's a subwoofer behind the back seat. There's a lot of speakers in this truck. Going into the back seat, the same size back seat and everything, just my cloth seat, same thing. These fold up, but the difference is you do get like a little nice storage compartment. So you can put this out, put that out, and make it like a, a nice level spot to sit or put your boxes so it's not so uneven. Same stuff underneath. You do get the option for stuff underneath. And like I was saying, this does have the cooler spot. So you can pick this bad boy up, throw yourself a six pack of uh, Pepsi in there, and uh, get down the road. And then additionally, I do have this here. You got some cup holders for your passengers. And then I do get some vents and some fancy stuff back there. So nothing too, too crazy. It is definitely different. It is definitely different. I'll shut that bad girl off. And that's honestly about it. Now there's a couple things I just forgot to mention, I just thought about, like, I do have parking sensors in my Bighorn. You're not gonna get parking sensors in like a Tradesman. I have like the rear power for the passengers. There's not, you're not gonna get that here. I got some like, in the driver's seat and the passenger seat, there are lights underneath, like the dash to kind of light your feet up. You're not gonna get that here. There's gonna be stuff I miss. Please don't hate me on that. There's gonna be stuff I miss, no doubt. But in general, that's kind of like what you get Bighorn versus Tradesman. 
like I said, you can spec one of these guys out to be almost better in this, but there's some features that you 100% can't get in these, like the, like the heated seats and the remote start. So pick and choose wisely what truck you want. There's, it's, that's, that's all you. Either way, like the video if you haven't already, subscribe, join the family, join the builds, and we'll see you guys next week where we put some weight in these beds and test out the suspension. Peace.